what's up everybody what's up guys what's up my good people i really missed you all my lips are shining courtesy of the lip gloss my friends left at my place <laughs> i hope you are not going to watch this video because they will start calling me a thief <laughs> because they come at, they came at my place and left their lip gloss there so right now it's mine yeah so welcome back to my youtube channel my good name is mik mik for those who are new here thank you so much for the love and support thank you for stopping by and please consider subscribing if you haven't oh my goodness it's so sunny just look at that guys look at that oh my goodness yeah so right now we are heading to town uh, I'm going to run some errands and I just thought why should I not go and run the errands with you guys this place is giving the village vibes look at that yeah this is how the village always looks like look at those maize over there because in Nairobi I've never seen people planting maize I think it's my first time and I'm so excited because it brings that nature of the village yeah I'm gonna show you guys because I don't know even if this maize always as in grows and they harvest I really don't understand so yeah over there there is a uh, maize I think somebody grew them because this place looks fertile if you focus and uh, do some cultivation over here or some plantings I think you're going to harvest but for this one I don't I really don't think he or she harvested what she planted because you can see they are dry others are green look over there guys I don't know if you guys can be able to see yeah like they're already dry and I can't even see the maize on it so I don't know the problem in Nairobi for you to be a farmer you must look for a place at least where oh my goodness this is giving village vibes village activities yeah I miss going to the farm um, before you do farming you must like always be ready for the outcomes for the results because not every day when you plant you're going to get what you planted because you can have losses and as we always read at school as we always been taught at school that like uh, you have to be ready for everything you know like you never know you can plant and rain comes it sweeps away everything don't lose hope like just continue planting and planting and planting so look at that banana over there oh my goodness this place really gives village uh village vibes they can you can see they have planted planted two banana trees over here yeah look at that and it has grown so well i hope it's going to give us like to remove the bananas that they have planted so yeah we have already approached the road and here we are waiting for a matatu these are means of transportation that you always use as a means of transportation and this is the famous highway called Thika road yeah this place is so well for driving because when driving over this place you can as in it's a one way this way this way that way yeah so like uh, it's really easy for driving because it's you, you cannot like pass across other cars it's you and you alone follow the road instructions and yeah when i buy my car i'll sh show you guys how people always drive over here so let's wait for the matatu and head to town peace love and unity i'm very sure that you guys are going to enjoy this video please subscribe if you haven't and i will appreciate as I have told you guys, we are heading to town to go and run some errands and it's so sunny and uh, ah, I'm struggling. I always hate exposing my face on the sunny, like on the sun. I, I wish I could wear a cape or sh some shades like my niece over there to prevent the sun. So yeah, enjoy the video guys. Watch it until to the end. Don't skip the ads. Make sure you leave us a comment. Tell me what you think about these amazing videos. And as I told you guys, right now we are not going to school because the lecturer 
are on strike and we are just at home waiting for them to finish striking then we'll continue we will continue with our studies because you know you can't like um put yourself to go to school and lecturers are not there they are striking right now we are patiently waiting for them to strike because when even students strike they always wait for us to finish striking the other day that i was uh, doing a video i showed you guys i told you guys that students at our school were striking because they have raised the school fees so higher and uh, like for the past years yeah so they were striking about that so i told you guys and the lecturers wait waited for us to to like finish striking and uh, they 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 like came back to teach us after finished students finishing striking so yeah so for us we also have that right to finish like to wait for them to finish striking because it's it's their right at some point i think it's good because it's their right because they always wake up very early in the morning and they get paid less money so let them strike when the government hear their cries when the government hear their sounds they are going to come back to our school to teach us so let's wait for ramatatu so that we head in town i'm going to show you everything today i'm not going to cut this video mm -hmm. and i hope that uh like i'm not going to find a bus that has music so let's go let's go guys let's go guys we are getting lost in the streets of nairobi kenya i don't think i've ever came with you to these streets of nairobi kenya and this is how beautiful busy it is so come with me as i go and show uh sorry some stuffs with you guys because you know like in nairobi kenya i always believe that in the evening things are always like cheap cheap and since i'm not at school at the moment let's go and show some stuffs for my school for school like clothes tops because i've added weight like uh, lately and uh, my clothes don't fit me like totally even the shoes i'm putting on i really struggled for it to fit me so let's go this is the beautiful city of nairobi kenya this is the beautiful view of nairobi kenya and this is how busy people are people are moving up and down looking for what to put on the table people are moving up and down to at least i mean feel busy and stuff and uh, you all know that i started a new episode my on my youtube channel for at least uh like giving people you know they need some food that i can manage and i think uh, we will be doing it again on sunday and uh, if you are willing to support you can reach me on my whatsapp or on my instagram i always put the numbers on the description box and i will appreciate let's make others busy happy because it doesn't cost anything to make somebody happy to make others happy to make others i mean feel love to make others feel appreciated to make others at least see that they are not alone in these streets of nairobi kenya so yeah that's the reason why i decided to start that amazing episode on my channel because you know like you know, just coming from the house instead of sleeping come give them at least something buy them lunch it won't cost you like anything so yeah enjoy the video watch it until to the end make sure you subscribe if you haven't and i will really appreciate let me know in the comment section what you think about this video and i'm going to appreciate so yeah so let's go shop some tops i'm gonna show you how people are always busy uh, and uh, nowadays i'm so in love with kenya because a lot of youths are trying to do business instead of loitering in town doing nothing so they are at least busy looking for something to put on the table we are in the middle of town and my niece decided to surprise me so if you see me 
see this ring. Please don't ask me where I got it from. Karasi of her. Yeah, she's even paying for this. Yeah. It looks so beautiful. But I wanted to and mosquitoes have really done that thing on my hand. Yeah. So and we also bought this cut up. I don't have anywhere to put it but for 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 pre professionally I'm going to get at least a, a, a small bag for me to put it inside. So gonna buy a bag for ten book. Oh, you need to pick a bag up at ten. Yes, my niece, Asante. My niece is so mean. Because I was telling her to at least pay for me for a small bag, but she she shouted at me that I've already paid. I'm not paying any food. <laughs> in town people are wondering what I'm actually doing because you know we have a lot of people in town and uh, they are like um, wondering what am I really doing because I'm recording myself you know and I'm like yo relax let me cut because of the music and yeah guys people are really busy doing business and here if you have you don't have that convincing power to convince at least people to come and buy your stuffs yo no not my cup of tea that's no mine <laughs> Yeah guys, um, if you don't have that convincing power, it's really hard for you to at least get something to Yeah, and uh, you have to be very careful while crossing the road because right now matatas are very busy because people are coming from work, going back home, students, uh, students are not going to school at this moment. Yo! Yo! Oh my goodness! Let's go, let's go! It's really hard over here. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go. What's up guys? Welcome back again. I say I had told you guys I had come to town to run some errands and I'm already done right now. You've seen how Nairobi city is very busy because you know it's uh, late in the evening and people are uh, like uh, heading home to go and uh, even have a rest from work. Others are coming from school. Others are coming from uh, business. You know like they have now closed their shops. Yeah. I also got myself a ring, not I never got it for myself, but my niece got it for me. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, I I, I, ha I had to say that, so yeah. If you see me with this ring, please don't ask me where I got it from, like why I have a ring on my finger, because I know I must have somebody who is going to ask me about it. So yeah, uh, I had fun doing this video with you guys. And as I told you guys, right now we are at home, teachers are on strike and uh, we are not like going to school but we have some schools that uh, still go to school so we are just relaxing waiting for them to uh at least uh uh as in get back to work when the government hear their cries when the government hear their, their sound we will be able to go back to school to at least continue studying but for now we are just at home relaxing and maybe doing the assignments that they had give, given us before heading to the strike so yeah thank you so much for the love and support guys i'll never take it for granted you mean the world to me you've never got tired of me even if i don't upload videos for you guys uh i always go for a while without uploading videos maybe when i'm at school busy with school work and um yeah you are always there for me you are always reminding me where i opened my youtube channel and yeah so thank you so much for the love 
you guys are family you guys are the most special people i've ever met in this world so yeah and uh, another thing um you know like uh, why i don't always upload videos it's because um, sometimes i come from school very tired i can't even get th that time of maybe like um you know like editing a video for you guys even if i go and uh, i go and shoot a video like i come to school i have assignments to do i can't really upload that video for you guys so yeah eh, my hand is done. yeah guys and that's the reason but right now as we are home i'm going to make sure that i put videos for you each and every day a uh, day by day every night at 11 pm i would always be uh dropping a video for you guys and tomorrow i think let me not say mention what i'm going to do tomorrow but it's a nice video so yeah thank you so much for the love and support and another thing is uh never give up continue doing what you are doing even though you are not a content creator you have business you are running and uh, uh maybe it doesn't give the way you expected never lose hope continue doing what you are doing pray always pray and uh, god is going to see you through even if you go to work and maybe you are a manager or your boss is not paying you the way you wanted or maybe you are getting tired of what you are doing never give up guys continue doing what you are doing and uh, honestly god is going to see you through because when you work hard pray when you pray work hard work smart everything is going to pay like you are going to get what you want in life so yeah and uh, uh small girls out here if you want something in life remember that uh everybody that you are looking up to or who you want to be like started from where you we are right now so you must work hard for you to get to where you want to i know some of you maybe wonder what you can do in life for you to be a successful person in life go to school graduate and uh, at least have those friends you know for me i always have friends that maybe are well off in life because when you have friends like those uh like honestly they are going to show you away because you know when you hang out with rich people you will honestly want to be like them if you hang out with the people who have ideas in mind you are honestly going to as as in at least want to be like like them or want to to do what they are doing so yeah and uh that's all so hang out hang out at least with people who have something in mind or who have at least um something in mind some ideas everything they are doing and you will be a successful person in life because you can't expect to hang out with people maybe who think of drinking alcohol maybe who think of doing drugs and uh, so when you hang out with people like this i'm not saying they are bad people because it's good sometimes to have entertain entertainment in your life but honestly if you hang out with people like those i'm not gonna lie to you you are going to um you're going to like um like be with them you you are going to at least like every day you guys are giving each other ideas that let's go and have fun at the club let's go and have fun uh where they sell drugs you get it so at least have that one person in life that you are looking up to have those friends in life that are at least when you are down they can give you ideas that maybe if you open a business everything is going to be great maybe if you open a business uh, your life is going to change you get it so yeah that's what i'm trying to mean so another thing i really appreciate you all because i always have girls like me who always uh advise me who always tell me what to do who always tell me that make me uh, you have to continue working hard because you know why you started your youtube channel because honestly uh each and every time somebody starts something you have the reason for starting it you have a reason for maybe doing what you are doing right now so yeah so i really appreciate them not only the people of my age but others old people imagine an old person taking his or her time to write me a message on whatsapp and tell me that make make you are going far make make uh, you are really doing an amazing job i will never take that for granted so thank you so much guys for the love support i really appreciate you so much so 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 much and if you have watched this video to this part tell me what do you think about this about nairobi kenya and uh, tell me when you are planning to visit nairobi if you don't come from nairobi and i will appreciate come visit nairobi because it's a recreational area business area um 
educational area you know like it has everything like everything you want is in nairobi come visit nairobi let's have fun together and yeah so uh please subscribe if you haven't let me know in the comment section what you think about this video and i will surely appreciate uh i think uh, that's all for this vlog because i've showed you how busy nairobi is you guys have seen how people are always busy and one thing i love about nairobi it will it will always put you on toes because you can't expect to come in town and like you are walking slowly you have to do what others are doing because when you go to romance do what romance are doing and uh as in to just put you on toes and you you will want to be faster like others you will always do your things faster you will always want to have money because in nairobi without money it's so hectic in nairobi as in when you have money everything is smooth when you have money as in you will have what you want in life so yeah thank you so much for the love and support i will uh, see you guys in my next one and bye bye i love you all from all from the bottom of my heart please subscribe if you haven't and bye bye